right behind me, not scream, spring has sprung. It's my first Zara haul of the season. Let's try on some clothes. <laughs> We are starting with an all neutral look. I am in love. So this bodysuit is Zara, but it's in fact old. If you haven't tried the Zara bodysuits, then you have not lived. They're so versatile, they're amazing. I literally live in the bodysuits. Now up first, we have got this amazing faux suede jacket. When I saw this, I nearly died just because of the color. Look at how beautiful that is. It's not too beige, it's not too light. It adds a little bit of differentiation from the white. I really like it. I think it's very expensive looking. I love these jackets in springtime because we never know what type of weather that we're getting, whether it's going to be a gorgeous, extremely hot day, typically in Easter it's amazing, or it's going to be peeing it down with rain. So I absolutely love these just for a little bit of layering. Next up, we have got the most amazing trousers ever. I have got these leggings, but in black, they're weird to split hem leggings. And when I say I live in them, I honestly live in them. They're the perfect trouser for the day to night transitional look. Really like them, really comfy. And when I saw them in cream, I was like, no, I need them straight away. Perfect for spring and summer. Next up, I picked up this gorge satin shirt. However, I don't love it. Couple of reasons. First one, can you see that? Foundation, foundation on the shirt. Imagine if I was going out to dinner tonight and this delivery arrived today. This was my only option that I wanted to wear. Another couple of reasons why I don't love this shirt. Let me come a little bit nearer so you can see. You can literally see my bra hanging out of the bottom. Now, I've done a little bit of calculations, mathematics, and I think the reason for that is because I'm tall, I'm 5'7", so I've got a kind of stretched torso. I'm thinking if you were more petite or shorter than me, then this bit wouldn't be as long, it'd be shorter, and then the shirt would cover you, but I don't know. That's my logic around it. One feature I do absolutely adore are these wraparound straps. Look how cute. I think it just adds a little bit of extra dimension and detail. Yeah, it's still really gorge. I know. This dress really reminds me of a Peggy Olsen Mad Men moment. How incredible is this dress? If you haven't seen Mad Men, then I really recommend. It's an American series set in the 60s, 70s, and it's about a marketing agency. It's got office politics, women politics, real life politics, families, children. It's amazing. But this dress brings me back to that era. So I am completely obsessed with this. So it's a woolen knit cutesy dress. We've got a turtleneck, which I'm always here for. We know I'm obsessed with turtlenecks, long sleeves, because we know that spring isn't always warm in the UK. But the feature I'm completely in love with, pockets. Look how cute they are. So simple and so small, but actually really small dainty pockets, but I just think it elevates the dress to the next level. You'll notice that with fashion this spring, summer 2022, there's gonna be a lot of color, a lot of oranges, yellows, highlighter yellows, a lot of blues, greens, pinks, carrying on from last year and the bright colors, which I'm actually quite excited about. I'm getting into color, people. Speaking of color, I did actually pick up this amazing bodysuit in lilac. I mentioned earlier that I'm obsessed with Zara bodysuits. I think they're such good quality and I really recommend getting one if you haven't. Yeah, I don't wear a bra with this as well, which I really like. I try and not wear bras where possible and this one is okay because I feel secure. My boobs aren't that big, but you know what I mean. Sometimes we do have to wear a bra with certain tops and these body suits do not require that. So obsessed. Now I did actually also pick up these white trousers. I'm always on the hunt for new white trousers just because I live in them. In spring and summer, that's all I wear. They go with absolutely everything. Now the reason I picked up this particular pair let me show you, it's the back. They have elasticated waist, which I thought would be absolutely perfect because sometimes I struggle with trousers. Where I've got bigger hips and thighs, they can be really tight around there, and then where I've got a smaller waist, they're loose. However, these don't quite fit the bill. You can see that there's a lot of loose material and I would like it pulled in slightly there. You can see how much loose material there is. So I'm thinking of getting them tailored. I'm not usually one to tailor and get things altered, but I think the smaller size than these are just gonna to be too tight on the thighs, honey. The thighs won't be able to breathe. Really like these because they've got pockets, wide leg. Continuing with the theme of color, can we all please take a moment for this top because I think this is the most favorite top I have ever put on my body. 
Now that is a bold statement, but it is just absolutely incredible. So, feature I absolutely love, it's one shoulder. I love showing off the shoulder bones. Then we have got a hoop detail, matches my hoops, which is amazing. I love how the material gathers here, as it almost accentuates the shoulder bones. We have got a teardrop moment in the center. The material changes, we've got the boo barrier here, and then the material changes to a vertical, which means that again, we're just pulling in and cinching the waist. And I just cannot believe this top gorgeous emerald green color. I think that paired with these trousers, absolutely unreal. I could also wear a green bag if I wanted to. I did actually order this really sweet little blue cropped knitted jumper moment. However, similar to this white shirt here, makeup around the edge. Other people's makeup has arrived dirty. Let's not talk about it, let's move on. So I can't keep this, but I do really like it. Let me know what you think down below because I'm just not a color person, but one after the other. I've done bold colors on top and then I've kept it neutral on the bottom, which I do really like. The quality of this is absolutely amazing. I will say it just hugs my arms really nicely. Not too much extra material, obsessed with this wraparound detail. A year ago, I wouldn't have thought I'd be wearing this. I would have thought, oh no, I'm too edgy, too crazy, but I really do like it. I just think that it cinches you in really, really nicely. And this is just a chill top that you could dress it up. Last up, we have a Barbie Legally Blonde moment. How beautiful is this dress? I have a little problem where it's slightly too big. I would need some stitching in the middle hip just to hide the boobs. I'm not able to wear a bra because you'd see the strap where it's so low cut. However, I think a smaller size would be too tight and small for me. So if I were to keep this, I would need a little bit of a stitching. This is definitely kind of birthday occasion night out dress. I absolutely love it. The first feature that I'm obsessed with are the shoulder pads. Can you see your shoulder? Can you see your paired? Shoulder pads, shoulder pads. I also really like the ruched detail going throughout the dress in the middle. And then we've got these really long ties that hang lower than the dress. And I just think that adds a little bit of a girly element, obviously because shoulder pads can be quite masculine. It just sort of evens out on the bottom. I will say, really strange one, but the sleeves are such weird quality. Do you know those children that go swimming and because the water's so cold, the parents put them in long sleeved swimming outfit, a swimming top. Does that make sense? It's reminding me of that. You can see kind of how cheap and weird looking, yet this bit is so expensive. But just because the dress is so gorgeous, I'm gonna let you off, Sarah. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will leave you on this really cute little pink girly number, but let me know what your favorite piece was down below. I think mine has got to be the green, the cutesy little green one shoulder moment. But please do like and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Mwah.